going on everybody and welcome back to the channel happy monday it's a great monday nice day today so today's video is just a little bit of everything first i want to talk about these daggone returns man and i'm, I'm gonna say this mr josh go oh if y'all hear the uh fan i'm sorry if it's too loud but <clears throat> it's too hot i got the fan going i got the air conditioner i can't turn it off man i'm gonna be sweating but uh Josh, bro, watch the video and I've been hearing you talk about your return situation, man. And I swear to goodness, ever since I heard that, I've had about $200 in returns right now. I mentioned this in a comment with you. I had a hair dryer return for $70. They claimed that the uh, hair dryer didn't get hot enough on the highest setting. All right, this was a pretty high in blow dryer now I'm just like look I test them I, I turn them on turn them up whatever I don't stand there and wait for them to get to full heat so I'm like all right maybe um whatever right so they're like um I see you got this uh this other one it's a chi uh hair dryer blah 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 and I, I'm like all right I see where we're going with this I know nothing wrong with the hair I just messaged them back I said I said, uh, look, I don't do uh, exchanges like that, but um, you can just return the uh, hair dryer and get a refund. So they returned it, I tested it, and it works perfectly fine. On the highest setting, it's hot as hell. So I'm like, whatever, man. I relisted it, and then it's old within like a day or so. So there's that. Then I had a guy return a, I think it was an Oral B uh, electric toothbrush. This was, I don't know, maybe a sixty dollar order. He claims that the that the toothbrush itself was broken. Now, of course, I accept the return. I'm like, whatever, just return and make sure everything else is good, because it still got the brush heads and everything was sealed and all that. I get it back and it is broken. The problem is, the person that I have help help me out, she does the testing and listing for me, lifting listing drafts. So, I'm not sure if she saw that and just didn't know to let me know or whatever. But that's one of those things. Like I think I think because I've been having some issues too with the water picks. And I, and I was just going through some of them, trying to clean them up. And what I noticed is that some of them don't even pump water. So I'm just like, the uh, only way I can be sure for myself, I think those types of items I'm going to have to double check myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I know. And then kind of like show her as we go through like, hey, if something like this is going on, just let me know. Like, it got to be perfect. But I've been dealing with the stuff long enough that I would know, okay, this ain't going to work. But I can sell the parts. You know, for instance, that, that with that item, the brush heads was sealed, it got the case, all of that. So that stuff I can just, I'm gonna just resell that. With the water picks that ain't pumping water, I'm probably gonna strip them down, sell like the, 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 the tubs, maybe the chargers, things like that you can sell separately. And then I might just list the broken part of the water pick itself for parts because sometimes it just might take a replace pump and somebody might do it, so I don't know. But I do gotta check that, so that's the second one. Then the other ones, well actually, one of them the lady closed yesterday. She said she just didn't want it. I was like, all right, we'll send it back. About a week or two went by, and the guy message said it got closed. That one got closed. Another one I got was another Oral-B toothbrush. They said it was dirty and nasty. Now. We have a process for dirty items where she marks it. Actually, I can show you. So like, you see this table? This is all types of stuff, right? You got the hair clippers. You have the, here, let me turn this around. All right, so you got this whole box here of clippers and stuff. So these would be clean and working, okay? Clean and working. So I'm gonna check those. These are like messed up or whatever. These, so she'll mark and she'll leave something on it that says dirty. 
That way I know to go through and clean it before I list it. Another box under there. So I know to go through and clean it and before it get listed. So that's the process for that. Now, the picture that the lady showed, it did not, it did not look like the picture from the listing. At that point, I was kind of tired of dealing with it. I just gave her a refund and that was it. I didn't even ask to send the item back, all right? And then another one was a wig. <laughs> a $50 wig that I sold to somebody for 15 and they bitching about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't give them a refund. They can send it back if they want. We're not, I'm not doing that. Um, what else, man? So, I mean, that's just kind of it. I just got to be with some of these things like the water picks and the toothbrushes. I'm going to just have to double, double check them myself. Um, but it was a rough last week and a half as far as returns go. And I just got to remind myself that it's not the price that they paid. It's just the price that I have into the item plus the return shipping if I accept it. I only kind of make them return it. It depends on the situation. I don't always make someone, oh, oh, another return. Well, it wasn't a return, but it was a problem. Somebody ordered a ball joint. I sent them something else. Um, it wasn't what they ordered. And part of the reason was I wasn't paying attention. The other reason was I had them both in the same box, which I usually never do with similar items like that because I know it's easy to be in your zone and just reach and grab something that looks similar to something else. So usually when I got stuff like that, I make sure I separate them, right, in different boxes. I didn't do that. I sent them a different item. They messaged me. <laughs> Initially, y'all said... Uh, no, I did send the right item, but then I looked at the listing, then I had to message back and say, oh, my bad, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> so, of course, that cost me another almost seven bucks because it was a two pound item. I had to ship out the ball joint. Of course, I apologized profusely, and I shipped out the ball joint this morning right away. So, um, not going to argue about that. I don't know. I, I go through these spells where I get, I, I have these moments where I'm... I got a lot, and I think it's still residual from just the whole situation with the fire, moving, getting things settled. Like, my mind has been going a thousand miles a minute, a bunch of things, and I don't know. I've been forgetting a lot lately. It ain't just that. Like, small things, like I'll be on the way to the gym, I'll get my water bottle, set it there to grab, and walk out and leave it, and won't even grab it. Totally forget it. Like, it's just little things that I know my mind is just, I, I got too much going on up there. So I gotta slow down, you know what I mean? And I don't want that to translate into me having returns and getting defects on my account and, and, and you know, giving the customers a bad experience because that's not what I'm about. I'm all about giving the customers the absolute best experience that I possibly can. And I definitely don't wanna send somebody stuff that's not working because I, I know it sucks just personally getting something and you was waiting on it and then it's not what you expected. Uh, and that's to put aside people who try to finesse right but what can you do man you just got to be more thorough and you just gotta my, my 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 thing i always try to fall back to when i get there is step by step you know what i mean and i think part of the problem with that whole ball joint thing is shipping in v quote there's a little picture that you can like that comes up when you ho hover over the item that's sold and it's it's you can see it but it, it would it would be easy I just didn't pay attention. I just didn't pay attention. That's it. It ain't nobody's fault. No, I just didn't pay attention enough. I didn't reread the listing. It's my fault. So a lot of returns. And because I'm not accepting responsibility, I blame it on Josh Cole for bringing up the return thing. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, Josh. But other than that, man, other than that, I sent in a Walmart or a Walmart shipment. That got checked in yesterday night or today. I seen them pop up and making another one. Going to be doing a lot of that, especially through the summer. I still have, sorry about the light. All that stuff, oh, this will bring me to another point in a second, but all that stuff, we kind of already separated. That's more like blow dryers and clippers and stuff like that. But the auto stuff. I've been listening slowly but sure. 
Some of it's been selling, some of it hasn't. But one thing I am going to break down and do. I'm just going to break down and buy a pallet rack, man. I, I can't find nothing around town that, that fits my needs. Everything is like this short stuff. I can't find anything like the one I had got from Josh. Didn't It wasn't the right parts. Me and him already worked that out, but that didn't work. And I really need to get this stuff off the floor. This is really like, it's congested. I should, I can't, I can barely move. So, I've been looking around some sites. I actually saw a few sites with used pallet racks, but I've seen some with new ones. Going for around 500 and I can get like a 10 foot. I might want, might want something bigger than 10 foot, but about five or 600 I can get one. I think I'm gonna just have to break down and do it, man, and just buy my space back. <laughs> Seriously, it's just gonna be one of those long-term investment things because I, 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 I absolutely. The, 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 now, now, the house we just moved in, though. Here's the other thing: the house we just moved in got a garage. Now, the driveway up to that garage is fairly narrow. My Jeep can fit through there, but her, she got a Denali, it can't. It's kind of wide. But then I was thinking, like, I can just store this stuff over there and not buy the pallet rack <laughs> you know what i mean the only the only the only um what would you call it the only uh con to that would be when i need something of course transportation but it ain't like i gotta drive across town or i'm already at the house so when i need it i can bring it and it will only be inventory of course that still needs to be going through and let's so it wouldn't be anything like oh i got this listed so I was going to buy the pallet rack, but after I looked at the garage, we got some stuff in there because we're still going through a lot of the donations and stuff that people gave us. But once once she sorts through that, I think I'm probably just going to move the majority of that stuff over there and bring a few boxes at a time. Because I've only been going through like a box or so a week. And at this rate, if I don't do that faster, I'm going to be going through this forever. That's the only thing that's kind of like right now and it's holding me back as far as uh backing me up i've been getting through everything else fairly quickly man with, with with the help and so that's that's pretty good ebay sales wise have been good for the items that i'm selling there's been some slow days there's been some days when i went to message back some of the customers and it goes to a page that said there's nothing here i don't know what's going on with that i will have to go back and refresh and try it again there's nothing wrong with that um i had to change so i'm changing over all of my banking stuff so i'm changing everything to my business account right and the reason i'm doing that and you might say you might some of y'all might think i've been using that but i wasn't i got a business bank account that's in my llc name however i've been using a different checking account for the majority of my business after having a talk with my banker though i'm changing everything over i got a credit card from them that I'm gonna start using instead of my Capital One. And it's actually a half a percent more in cash back. But um, I got that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do all my business through that so, because I got plans in the future of things that I wanna do. But he said, in order for that, we have to see that you're using your business banking account for business. So I'm like, all right. So this is gonna be a long-term plan over the next year. So I'm just going to do everything through that for the next year. So I had to switch eBay banking information over. That was easy. Walmart was fairly easy. Now, Amazon was the thing that had me nervous and rightfully so. And when I did that, of course, it was the headache that I thought it was going to be because there's so many different things. Like Amazon, you got your legal entity, you got your business name, you got this and that. So I have all of that and I knew once I changed the banking info, it was going to trigger verification. And once I changed my address, it was going to trigger all that. The address change actually went fairly quick. The banking thing was kind of like where, and they, you know, they started giving me the deactivation, my accounts at risk of deactivation. They wouldn't accept nothing that I was putting in. So finally I had to go down to my bank because they kept wanting my name. And I'm like, it's not my name. And what I didn't realize I didn't sign, I didn't put anything in Amazon 
uh, that's in my LLC name. I only use my DBA doing business as. I got two registered. I got the LLC that's registered, and then I have a DBA registered with the state. I use the DBA on Amazon. I thought I put the LLC name in there somewhere. It's nowhere. So they didn't have that. So they wanted to match my name. So I had to go down to my bank, get them to write me a statement saying that I, Edward Lee Ziegler, am, uh, you know, the owner of this business bank account and the name of the bank account. Then they had to sign it, stamp it. I submitted that and thankfully Amazon finally accepted it and all the, all, all the warnings went away. So that was done. I still have some things to switch over. Like there's a lot just I gotta remember to do. But once I get everything switched over, I'm gonna start doing that because I got other goals and plans over these next couple years that I wanna do. And I'm gonna need my bank to be behind me as far as funding goes for those things. And some of those goals are resale related, but I don't want them to fund me for like pallets and stuff. That's not, I'm thinking some totally different y'all. But that's something for another day. That ain't even nowhere like close right now on the horizon. But I got to start. And this is one of the things you guys got to realize. Like, if you don't have a long-term plan, you won't be thinking about the steps you need to take to get there. And so you'll already be behind. And then when it finally comes to mind and you want to do it, then you have to re then you realize, oh, I got to do all this stuff. And then it takes even longer. But once you got a plan and you know what direction you want to go, you can start initiating those steps. And then any hurdles, anything that you have to do that's going to take up time, you can get those things and put them in motion without it messing up your plan because your plan is down the line. And by the time it comes time for you to kind of like take action and take that step, you already got everything set up. So we'll see how that go. Um, besides that, I was thinking about taking off a little bit this week on the gym. I don't know. It's going to be hard, man. I'm like a I'm like a fiend. Today was supposed to be the first. Like, just to get caught up on work and do stuff. I don't know if I'm going I'm to. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. It's too vital to my mental health, y'all. You know? My mind ain't going to be right if I don't go to the gym. Um, I did see somewhere that ebay what did it say i got a message from ebay what was it let me see if i can find that oh man it's like 90 degrees outside my little air conditioner working over overtime over there let me see it says act now and this message came through today act now says act now to update item conditions that are changing it says on august 5th on august 5th we will be expanding the ebay refurbished program to additional categories in order to create a more consistent shopping experience and ensure seller standards and item quality based on this change you may need to update your listings the seller refurbished item condition will be removed from multiple categories here's what you will need to do before august 5th Review the categories eligible for a refurbished program. If you're creating new listings in the affected categories, select the use condition. After August 5th, any remaining listings with the seller refurbished item condition will be automatically updated to use and any listings with errors will be ended. You also have the option of applying to participate in the eBay refurbished program, which would allow you to migrate to new gradings, okay? We go to that page now when you click on that link this pdf comes up and this pdf guys is 83 pages so i'm not going to go through the whole thing however if you sell in any of those categories you should know what's coming so you might want to just double check to see if the types of items that you are listing as refurbished see if they um fall into them categories so that you can get that stuff changed out or apply for the eBay refurbished program. Um, as far as that goes though, I'm not sure that, I, I think some people put things in a refurbished category that are not refurbished, that's just used. As far as refurbished goes, I personally would rather eBay had like a program to verify that something's refurbished and have some criteria 
as opposed to just letting anybody pick the refurbished category because there's a huge difference between refurbished and used um, or even refurbished and open box, right? So I don't have a problem with that. I don't know. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Do you think that it's... Would you rather have something that is listed as refurbished? Would you rather that it have certain criteria that have to meet and eBay do it this way where you can't list and refurbish unless you're in a program? Or would you rather just it be one of those things like it is now where you can just pick the refurbish as a, a category no matter what the item is? I don't think I like that, but you know, I, I'm cool with this one. The, the good thing is that there's not that many changes going on on eBay right now, but we'll see how things go going forward. Um, besides that, man, ain't nothing new. I got a, a, a little goal that I'm trying to do as far as videos and content. So look, for my longer form content, I'm letting y'all know now, if it's over like, I don't know, If it's over like, I'm thinking maybe 30 minutes to an hour, somewhere around there, I'm probably gonna cut it up. Well, I'm definitely gonna start putting chapters in the videos if, if there's specific uh, things that I'm talking about, different topics. So always check for the chapters. But I'm also gonna start cutting it up by a topic that I'm speaking of in the longer form and, and relisting those videos by themselves. Uh, just for people who might just want to hear just that topic. I think it just helps with the algorithm and it helps with You don't even have to go to the longer video or look at the chapters the video is just out there itself So just so y'all know if y'all see something like that, that's what's going on. I'm just rehashing The content chopping it up plus I'm putting some of it over on Instagram If y'all ain't following me over there follow me and I will be making specific content for Instagram Won't be nothing crazy won't even be every day but I'm going to give that a little bit more attention since I've been neglecting it, okay? But just letting y'all know what's going on with that, man. Also, I got videos coming in the membership for grants that's coming up uh, in different categories. So if you're in a member, make sure you become a member. I still have the GoPro 8 Black that I want to give away to one of the members. I'm just trying to wait there to, at least until there's 10 in there. We got three right now, so I need seven more people, and I'm going to get out of the way. And then we got a bunch of other stuff coming that I'm working on. So y'all make sure that if you ain't a member, you can join any uh, level, baby hustler, full-time hustler. I got things for everybody, man. Also, if you sell on Amazon and you want to know if something gets IPP claims or not, that will be something that will be available to people who are members of the channel because uh, I'm about to get the IP alert. Uh, and they ain't a membership, but just a license, I guess. I actually want it for myself, <laughs> but I will look up ASINs for people who are channel members. I am not looking up a hundred ASINs a day, but if you got an ASIN or two, you just want to know if it gets IP claims, you can send it to me, check it, and I'll let you know. So that way you be you can make an informed decision on your buy, and I won't like wait all day. I'll try to. We'll, we'll come up with a system for that. We'll come up with a system for that. Something just to help out Amazon sellers, help out you guys, because I, like I said, one of the main goals of the, of, of the membership is to provide tools and opportunities for you to grow your business, for you to do things that you might not be able to do either at the current at this current juncture in time, or that just might help you going forward in the future. So. We'll be posting stuff like that. So if you ain't a member, make sure you become a member, man. And uh, make sure if you ain't subscribed to the channel, you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one.